All right, so today on the beautiful, lovely, wonderful gaming Metarox, um, we're going to get started today on the beautiful, lovely um, Mass Effect Legend Edition. No, that has been canned for today because um, yesterday I was supposed to, um, on Tuesday, I was supposed to have the Euro Truck Simulator up and going. Um, and I didn't have it going on Tuesday, so that one is being uploaded um, tomorrow. Um, or whenever you guys are watching this, this will be uploaded after the American Truck Simulator thing. When showing you, um, I was talking about how I started uh, that. That was recorded. That was recorded on the beautiful Monday um, and Tuesday. For Tuesday. Um, if you guys are watching this, that would be the 19th, um, going out on the 20th, and it's actually now going out on the 22nd. Today's video is the beautiful, lovely American Truck Simulator. I have been in shock and awe with this game. This game has been one of the best games in general. You know, got my, got my pop. Um... So before we do quite get started, I want to show you guys the options on on this. The grass density. I turned that to high here. Um Uh, if you go into simple settings, and you look at everything, we set it to simple. Um, the only thing I want to change is that mirror resolution. We're only going to set that up to there. Uh, we'll just leave everything the same there. Now. Up. Oh. We forgot one stupid thing. I always forget this sometimes when I'm playing games like this. We have to have the beautiful, lovely controller. Okay, so we have an email, 11 emails, okay? Because what I kind of want to do is... <laughs> is we have about 4,476 in the bank. Um, and we can take out an investment of 3,090. What I want to do today is yes, we have an outstanding thing of these two things here going on. What I'm going to do is we're going to take out a... Okay, we're going to pay that off. 
so that we have the 150 but we're now going to go to truck dealers okay we are going to look for the similar truck to mine now now if we go into truck manager we are using the volvo vln so we're going to go to volvo Buy online. We have the Volvo VLN 300. We are going to customize the configuration just to the color of the company. In the custom metallic. into our custom color with a little bit of a different paint job. Okay. Now we will upgrade this. This is his truck. This isn't mine. Uh, this is going to be or her. Um, as you guys know, I was set up to hit confirm here and purchase this. We don't have enough space in my garage, garage manager. Okay, if I upgrade this, how much does it cost to upgrade? Okay, so it looks like that we need a hundred, 180 to upgrade that to even get an extra garage slot. So, we won't be able to get that today. So, if we go back into the bank... We will repay that loan, that $100 off. Um, our current balance is that much. I'm not going to... We're going to keep that money there. We will repay this loan off here very, very soon. So don't worry. So we need to have a lot of money into the bank. So let's go with freight market. Okay. Might want to allow me to view, go in. We must be in Saline then, where we last left off. So, we could go to Saline, Cedar City. Um, we've got pellet, animal food from Saline to Saline. We've also got a hay going from Saline to Saline. And we got pressure tank, Saline to Saline. Saline to Cedar City. Um, we also got one that goes to St. George. I'm just seeing what we've got here available. Moab, St. George again. We could go back to St. George. Um, we've got Bernal, Moab, Steam Boat Springs, Saline to Twin Falls, Iaco. Um, that one also goes to Moab, and that ends. And today, it's Saturday. Um, 
Uh, let's do something. Now this one's Saline to St. George. Let's do one to Cedar City. Um. Rings. If we're here, let's do the Saline to Moab. This one is the frack tank, getting us at eight thousand dollars. Let's set that as GPS location. Location to see if it's still. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna try to see how f see how much we can get done today. You know, okay. So it's sixty-five miles an hour right now. Oh, no, no, it's 35, sorry. I was gonna do that and then overtake this guy, but it didn't work because there's cars still coming. Actually, yeah. Oh, we're going to follow him all the way into Saline, I guess. Wait for this car to go by. Now, for today, um, basically, I was watching a video to yesterday on just two cents. Um, actually, I guess today, I guess, um, because it's going out today. I thought it was going out tomorrow, and then I realized no, it's going to go out today. So basically, a speeding violation. And I'm sitting at 40 miles an hour. You know, in real life, you...
you are trying to get up there in... Looks like are we doing another Walbert thing? No, we're doing a HIMS. Okay. Freight market. We could go to Twin Falls, but we're going to go to Moab, Utah, so Moab, I, Moab, Moab, I don't know, however you decide to pronounce it, um, we'll go do that, right now we don't have enough money to expand, That was a horrible pickup. Hey. And I also turned something off. Is that mirror over there? But we're going to we're going to keep it generally somewhat like Sorry, I was paying attention to the front of the road, not paying attention to the side, but whatever. Um, once once we get off to the onto the freeway, we will kind of. We'll kind of get going here. We'll kind of talk about a couple of things today. Um. The biggest thing that we're going to talk about today is the uh, how Amazon's game is kind of screwing people over. And what do I mean by that? Well, um, it's this New World game that Amazon has made. Um, it's an MMO style of game where a lot of people are getting their stuff bricked. And it's most notably the 3090s are getting bricked. Now it could be the 3080s also might be getting bricked as well. You know. But it's it's an eclectic thing, you know, when you're... When you got a game that was an alpha, and then you got it going into beta, what can you do when something like that is just not issued right? Or not properly...
not done properly, you know. It, it comes at a price when the thing is, is that your game goes in alpha, uh, you get people to play test it, you get people to, like, influencers and things like that from YouTube and Twitch, and and they're being bricked. Uh, their computers, their things being bricked. And then it goes and releases into beta, and people are still having bricked issues. And it's just, it's just a lot of it has to do with the fact of the matter is you can't, you shouldn't release a product that has a lot of issues pertaining to the game. You know, when something is going to break your hardware, don't release that game. Make sure, make sure that you fix that issue before you figure it out. Make sure that there is a cap on the game. You know, make sure that these... Just make sure that, that there is nothing really bricked. Because when somebody gets a bricked graphics card, they pay 3090s, and 3090s are very hard to come by these days. And with that being the genuine case of these 3080s um, being bricked, or 3090s, sorry, uh, it's. It's a lot of it has to do with a lot of the issue. Okay. When it should be, I should be only going 40, 50 miles an hour. Hour here. You know, and that's and that's just it. Is like a lot of people need to understand that you need you need to be careful how you set up that thirty ninety because you know I'm not I'm not a tech person. I'm not a tech person. Okay, I'm not that person that, that knows everything about technology. Um, you know, go check out these tech YouTubers. Go check out Jay's Two Cents. Go check out Linus Tech Tips. Go check out uh, Steve from Gamers Nexus and all the Barnacles and all these other... I guess, go look at these other tech YouTubers and then, then go in and figure out what you need to do do with what's going on you know you can't you can't sit there and say hey I am wanting to do the 3090 I want to get 3090 uh, make sure make sure that your hardware is substantially to support that game or to support the 3090 remember a it's we must be we must be taking this frack tank It must be empty. A paid loan investments. 
Um, we will be able to pay more of it off as we go through. You know, it's only a thousand a paycheck to pay. It's only a thousand dollars every every month to be able to pay that loan investment or every few days. But Oh, snap! What did I just do? Did I, was I not paying attention? Hold on. How far do we have to go from this Moab thing? How far do we have to go to the next Grand Junction and then turn around and go back? Holy snackies. Trying to pay attention to you guys and talking at the same time is just difficult. So we are, might be a little bit late on this one. You know, it's it's kind of this eclectic taste. You know, you can't... You can't, you can't just play... You can't just expect everything to work when it's an alpha or beta. You know, Call of Duty Cold War, yeah, there was an open beta. It was okay. It wasn't the best brightest thing, but it worked, you know. Now we're in the Colorado area. Yeah, I wouldn't have had to do this. Okay, getting here to Moab. We're taking a little bit of a detour, scenic route, guys. Um, I don't have the music turned on at the moment for today's video. Um, that's just because I just didn't want it on. You know, I just didn't turn. I just actually, to be honest with you, I just didn't turn it on. Oh, we have to do these two twice. Is why? Uh, 
Oh, I hate this. This game wants me to go at a way station when I've already gone to the other side of the way station. And I had to turn around and come back. You know, when you, when you, when you make a mistake... Okay, we can go through. I'm Gotta be careful. That's why I always have my thing on that side of the mirror. Because most of the time I try to stay to the light side of the road. In America, you will always, like, the fast lane's always on the left side. The right lane is always the slow lane. Uh, typically, if you see some sea roads like this, if you see it's a one-lane road or two-lane road, basically not like this, but when you see things like that, that means it's a... And then, you know, you will see a lot of dotted, yellow dotted lines or white dotted lines or things like that. That's allowing you saying, hey, you can pass... With known issues. With no issues. Um, just make sure that you're watching for cars to pass. You know. Um, in America we also use stop signs. Instead of most places we will use stop signs. Um, we'll use yield signs. Uh, I said I said I've done studied a little bit on this. In American travel. When I was in high school. Or I should say middle school directly. Because in 8th grade we actually. You know. In 8th grade, you know, where I'm at, I basically, we could, at 14, we could drive. Now, I, did, I didn't pass the driving test, but I also was going to learn how to drive and do all this and pay to drive. But then, you know, I wasn't able to... Remember, when you're going down a hill, make sure that you're going lower than the record. will go like 40 miles an hour or less. And no. Uh, so, and typically, that's the difference. Is, is other differences. Differences. In the U.S., is that you can turn on the right turn, turn right hand turns, on red lights as long as it's safe to do so. Um, in America, we also have these kind of sometimes we'll have lights that say green to go right, um, where everything else is green, not green really. Um, so just just be on the lookout for that. Like compared to your truck, when I was playing the game, it just didn't seem. You know, so it's 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 a thing where when you're driving here, you just gotta pay attention that yes, you can turn right on red. You don't have to. You could follow your your typical laws. You know, you can. You don't have to turn right on red. Um, a lot of times, um, in you know, U.S., we will have places that that have stop signs, but we'll also have like red lights on top, and you will have to stop there. As just to kind of help you remind you that hey you have to stop here. Now we got this vehicle up here that's going a little bit slow. And we don't really want to hit this guy, so and we are tailing fish tailing him right now, which is not a good thing. I don't know why 
<laughs> I was following him and I was like, how far do I have to go? Sometimes you have, sometimes the map will misjudge where you have to go. Um, when on gravel, it is recommended that you go 30 miles an hour on the gravel roads in the U.S. Try not, don't go, don't go too far on those gravel roads. Because it's not, it's not appropriate to do so because it's just, it just, you're kicking up all that dust that's behind you. And people can't see very well. Moab discovered. Um, where do you want it? You want it there. You could play it there, or we could play it there, which looks like. Um, let's go. Let's go try this one. I think I can do do a confirm on that one. Um, actually. Hmm. I got a little bit of trailer damage. I but no cargo damage, so we should be okay. Or they ideally want it You know what, where they ideally want it, we're just gonna end it there. Yeah, we had a trailer thing malfunction. Um Let's do Let's hit apply there. Then we can go into bank. And we can repay that off. And we can get this four hundred thousand dollars. What I'm thinking is let's do that and then we'll repay our first loan back. Okay. That just that just says that we pay our first loan back. We are we are gonna be having this balance left to pay. Let's go to garage manager. In Salt Lake City, let's upgrade this by adding 
an extra slot into into upgrading. Now, I don't know if we're going to still be in Moab. But this is going to allow us to get us our loans to be able to uh, adding more loans to to here you know we paid off that hundred dollar hundred thousand dollar loan alone so now we have two truck drivers that we can start recruiting for now we have two truck um we have recruiting agencies in Price, in Moab, and in Salt Lake City. We also have in St. George. We only found, discovered the one in Mo in St. George. So, and we only have Wilma F. Um, driver's rating is 1.5. We don't really want Wilma. So we'll go search, um, before we do. Um, let's go, let's go, um, let's go into Moab here. Um, let's go into town. Let's go into here. Uh, we'll go to that mark there, and we'll see what we can get for drivers. But in your truck simulator, there's hardly a lot of trucks coming, a lot of cars coming on these kind of roads in the game. They're not going to really put that into your, into the serviceable places and stuff. But I felt I'm going to try to stick to that 50 mile an hours. Because if we can get two vehicles and uh, two people driving using that 400,000, we can be able to take that back through. Nobody was coming, so we are good there. So now we'll be able to drive a lot safer knowing now that we have this. But if we can get... People who have a lot of, um, we're not going to use Wilma F because we want a driver rating. I want to have a higher driver rating, a better driver rating. And I'm not going too fast here. Because if we can go and visit Moab, we can get we can get a few drivers. What I would like to get is those drivers that do. I've never I've to be honest with you, you know I've never outside of Utah and outside of South Dakota. You know I haven't really 
I don't know a lot of locations. You know, I know Nebraska. I know North, a little bit of North Dakota. I know some Minnesota. I know Wyoming a little bit. Um, I know a little bit of Nevada. I don't know a lot about a lot of places. You know. Okay, so we've got Jacob V, which is a 2.5 um, guy here. So we don't have a truck for him, but we will hire you. You have that uh, high safety. You have a higher rating. Uh, you are asking $361, $361 plus $1666 per delivery per mile. Um, we're gonna hire you. You are not Wilma F. You're you're offering about the same. You're offering a little bit cheaper, but you are. No. Now he will get a truck to drive. We also have Oscar L. Which, um, which is also there, but we don't want to spend too much because, as you can see, we only have one hundred and twenty-nine fifty-nine in the bank. That means uh, this guy that we just hired. That means we truck dealers is what we need to do. Um, we also, I want to see what we can get for cheap. So let's go with Freightliner first. Can buy online. Uh, Freightliner Cassade Day Cab is only seventeen hundred. Let's see, Mack Trucks. That one's Mack Anthem Day Cab. Let's see, what does Western Star have for us? We're gonna we're gonna look at all the available stuff that we can buy. Um, the Western Star is also that much. I want to try as much as I can. I want to. We're gonna go with Volvo if. They're like the International Lone Star is that nineteen seven fifty five for it. Um, Kenworth, there we have three Kenworths. Um, so we'll but we'll check. You visit selected dealer. We actually have a Kenworth. Um, we have the Kenworth Day Cab and Day Cab. Um. We also have the Kenworth Duty Day Cabin, um, which this is engine is 150 gallons per tank on both of them. It doesn't really matter. They're pretty much about the same. So, yeah. Um, it's not really... Um, we're going to go with that Volvo again. Okay, we're going to buy this Volvo VLN 300. Now, remember, this is a little bit more expensive than that Kenworth. We wanted to do that. Custom configuration. Um... Basically, <laughs> like, 
like if I do add that in there, is that just um So can I actually See, it's going to cost me more, but if I do this now where I can get a better um I want to have the normal cargo available, but I wanted to look at that um let's do transmission i am saying that we have that if we do with this eton f el1br Um, you know, we can do this thing. But I wanted, I want to go with, I want to be able to keep, I want to be able to keep the normal cargo availability. Like, we could go with this thing, or we can... I want to keep it as much normal cargo availability, but also having that heavy cargo available as well. I think we'll stick with this. We have the money to do so. I might drop the transmission down to 12 speed. But if I do that, that means I have to drop the engine down by 1. But I think... I think we'll go with this one here. And then just do the paint job. Just add a custom paint job in here. Okay, so it looks a little bit more metallic-y, but what I want to do is I kind of just want to add the darker... I want to add that darker color to this. Just change it slup slightly. And we're going to confirm the purchase of this vehicle here. If we have to take out another $10,000 loan. Now he's going to get the better truck than I will. But he's going to be because he's also a new driver. We're going to... Okay, so now we've got him a car, him a trailer. Okay, and that's pretty much all we've got available. You know, with me, I kind of understand Let's go explore Moab for a little bit here.
We're gonna... Um, no, let's not go. We don't need to go that way. Really? What? Where did I get a traffic violation? Come on. I was right there moving along. Is this another Walbert? <laughs> because if it is, we'll take, we'll take, we'll do another Walbert. We'll, we'll, we'll travel. So there are no available jobs here. Okay. I know this tells me it's only a one way through point. Hate that when I always push the horn button when I don't need to push the horn because of an offensive. Because it being offensive. Being offensive, but I don't know. You know, it's kind. Of, it's kind of interesting how. How there's a lot of. We gotta wait for the bush and elk truck to go by and then we can go. Are you serious? I was trying to rotate the dumb car. There is a new garage industries here. Interesting. So on Moab we can get a garage here, but we're going to go back here and actually see what we've got for transporting stuff. We've been transporting a lot of frack trucks lately. Let's see what you got here. Oh, Silica and Moab to St. George, Gulluppy. Um, that's St. George. That's going to Gulluppy. Gullup. New Mexico. We could go to, we could go to explore a new city today. Or, um, let's go, let's look at the job market here. A oh, freight job. Moab. We could transfer salt. We got the Montrose. 
Moab, we could go back to Provo. Saline, Gullopy. Um, that's where we're at, was we could go to... Silica to Gullopy. Um, that's where we're at right now. We could deliver stones. Uh, we could go back to Ogden. Frozen fruits from sells goods. Scrap metals, cement, sugar. Frack tank. Back to Salt Lake. We go back to Salt Lake and there. Um, scrapped cars. And we could do another frack truck. Frack truck seems to give you a lot of money for doing that. But I want to explore a new city. So we're gonna we're gonna we're going to take this is the final truck that we're gonna be taking for the day. Um and we're gonna go back to St. George because Because I feel like getting the... I feel like going back to St. George. Going back and support St. George a little bit. Yes, we're off the beaten path a little bit. But... Today we get to we visit a new place. We've got ourselves new staff. New, new employees. Very tight squeeze there for somebody who has to, like, pull up, but... So our truck might not be able to support the heavy cargo. That's why I've been going heavily. Um, and we also need some gas. So we only have about 1,974. I should have been more careful. More careful about it. Um... Let's go, let's look in Moab. Um, that's the only place there. So, we'll hit that. Can we make it before that light turns red? Nope. I had to say hi to my fellow trucker. Making some halva high value cargo, I see. So yeah, he's genuinely a lot of these guys who will typically do
I have to make a huge turn. Okay, so we stopped the engine. So I know how to know how to stop the engine now. Oh, it wasn't that much. So I, I am I'm definitely like this game has definitely been a great game, you know. Ever since ever since California's been released, you know, I stopped playing after I believe the Nevada not the Nevada release. Um I stopped playing after a while. Uh I know I know I did because I didn't uh play the I didn't get the Colorado I think it was when Colorado a DLC. It was whatever the last DLC was released. I never really uh, played that release since that release. Um, I know I haven't played it for at least a couple of years. And I still find that this game is definitely an enjoyable... I don't even need to do that yet. Why? And even why is that a double lane there when it doesn't need to be? You're going to let me go? Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. The railroad signs are not down, so we're good. We gotta be careful. They did. We did kind. We do kind of get a lot of that here. You know. Kind of, kind of going through and being able to sit here and be able to give you guys like this, you know, it's, it's just a eclectic game. This game is just one of the best games I've played. Play like it's like if I went and did my top twenty-five Steam games, or I did my top twenty-five games of all time, this would be in that top twenty-five, guaranteed. American Truck and Euro Truck have are on the top list, you know. Being able to play a game like this is just, it's just interesting, you know. We're we're driving across America, yeah, condensed condensed America, but we're still driving in America, and you know, even playing with Euro Truck, you know, I liked Euro Truck. Euro Truck was definitely something that I have was the first game I bought. I bought it when it first came out on, I think, Your Truck 2. Um, I bought it on sale. I did make a mistake. A mistake. Um... When we get up here, we're going to have to churn because I didn't realize this, but I'm thankful that we can don't have a long... A long way to go, but I think we are taking a different... We're taking a different route to get to St. George. So, you know... 
I don't know what the game's having me do. Hold the phone. Oh, did I turn when I wasn't shouldn't have? I did. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. Okay. Welp. What ifs? <laughs> We're taking the scenic route. <laughs> but that's that's the beauty of this. You 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 kind of forget like where I'm going, and I'm I know that I have a time sensitive load. But as long as I can correct myself, pretty much. This is why this is why you go thirty miles an hour in a zone like this. No. Incorrect use. I was going to turn that way and then I was like, no, 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 no. That's why I always like to do the fuel economy first. I always do that because, you know, yeah, I might be able to take loads on the go. I was far enough that I was paying attention and there was no cars coming this way. I was able to make it through. I'm not, I should have been more careful. A lot more careful though, but hey, this is a video game. This isn't real life. If I was in real life, I'd probably stop there instead of yield. Or whatnot. You know, for, for me... You know, the biggest thing is, you know, when I, I've already said this way too many times on this channel, probably, but going through and being able to, you know, being able to have this driving, going through and driving, you know, not, not only does like, you know, video games kind of, and I am speeding, yes. And I did it unsafely because I thought that was a turning lane when I realized it was a turning lane for the other side. Whoops. So, you know, it's it's hard. It's hard to gauge. We are rested, so we are going to be driving at night, guys. We will be driving at night. Um, our rest, we are in blue, so I think we might not have to need to rest. I should have rested, didn't see what time it was. But you know, it's 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 
it's interesting how you know when I when I've loved I love games video games you know it's the biggest thing in life you know that I love and video games and clothing are the two biggest things that are material things that I actually like the most besides food besides food I I, I actually like food I actually do like food. Food is definitely one thing that I do enjoy a lot of. You know, I my favorite food right now is shrimp. You know, I like shrimp. It's it's the biggest thing. I haven't had it in a while though, but it is my favorite food of all time. Second to uh, ramen. Ramen is definitely a another staple in my diet. I always have it most of the time. I have it for lunch, and then I have something at random. I just have a a different thing at supper because you know ramen is definitely the thing quick pick me up when I need to um, or hot pockets you know if I'm if I'm running late for work I will grab grab it and go on lunch like kind of like lunch break but it's not really lunch break for me it's just me having to wait for uh, you know when I have to clean because I clean for a bank and you know I clean and it's just it's it's an eclectic taste you know you clean and then you know you you know you have to you have to do certain thing in a certain way you know the company wants you to do it this way and come on dude get o get over here and get yourself moving I want to move beside this move, but I can't because I'm going behind this guy that's not wanting to pick up his space. Come on. Oh, it's another semi. Ha! <laughs> okay. So I'm assuming that this... Okay, no. We're going 60 miles an hour. That's as far as we're going. Okay, I was just making sure that we're not on high beams, that we're on low beams. Oh, I guess I am getting tired. Jeez. Many gracemets. Okay. Next rest area that we find, we're going to take a nap. Go for the night. Good night's sleep. So, it's not going to be a long... Um... Rest area in one mile. Okay. I should have waited. I should have rested and then gone in and grabbed something. But. Well, what can you do? You know, it's. This game, you know, it's, it's, it's a great game. I like it. It's something that, you know, if you. Even, even if you don't sit here. Even if you don't like, um. A lot of games, you know. This is this is kind of something that I really have been really have gotten sync my time into. You know, I'd played a lot of Euro Truck on mouse and keyboard, by the way. Don't do it. Um, you know, we're gonna go to this rest area here. Oh, fudge. Did I go into the wrong spot to sleep in? Yes, I did. Dang it.
kind of hoping I'm kind of hoping that I can just turn myself around up here and go No, I made a boo boo. Okay, where's the next? I know that we are getting sleepy. So oh, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna make a YOLO move. We're just gonna make a YOLO move. I know this is illegal, but Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Has provided us with a little bit of cash. Jacob V has finally... So we got Vista's powers going out, out here and going on, so... You know... Um, let's check up on our driver here. Manager. He's over in Provo right now. I'm going to leave him unbalanced for now. Just let him go. Just let him do his thing. I just wanted somebody who had more fuel economy inside there first. I always look for that. And then I just go for balanced afterwards. Because in that way, they're not wasting a lot of my gas money. On things, you know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> They're supposed to do that. You're supposed to move over in America when you're driving. You're supposed to move over. That's why there's usually there's always two lanes. Not always. Um, some places, uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I haven't driven most of the places I've seen. Rest areas are usually on a double lane, and somebody will be able to move over. Move over, so. So, I want to know. We have seven hours to get this done. And it's expected three hours from now, so we should be okay on this. Um, we are traveling in different areas. We are traveling in a lot of uh, different ways and different uh, places. Because, you know, for me, it's... It's definitely a great game. You know, this game isn't, isn't going to be designed to... Uh, help help out a lot of stuff to understand how to drive okay this is this isn't a game that's going to teach you everything on how to drive it's not a game that's going to sit here and uh, teach you now you can you can learn a few things here or two there from from this game but don't expect don't expect to feel realistic driving because remember a lot of times cars will bypass a lot of semis and stuff where you know, in in America, in your truck, it's a lot of cars are bypassing. Even semis will pass you. Some of them will, and that's not realistic traffic. Um, this is more. What's more realistic is you being. 
I don't know why I am blood driving like that, but I need to be paying more closer attention to driving like this. Just with a slight little over there, I think, is good. I wish this would be my center. Ah. Uh, A lot of times, you know, going through and playing a game like this, this is, this is something where we are definitely speeding here. We need not to speed. We need to be generally careful on how we do things. You know, in, in the game like this, there isn't really much in terms of places to see or not places to see but in this game it's generally you're just sitting here you're just dry, sitting here driving truck uh you can turn on your favorite radio station um and just go you know for me i would love to do that but i can't do it i if i want to do it for youtube i have to kind of lay back and just not really have a thing going on Now, if I could find a royalty-free radio station where it's royalty-free, everything is royalty-free, um, I would probably do it where we can have ads and things and going. Going. And we are going to St. George, after all, from Moab. So, we're not, we're going back in some of the places that we've already traveled. Um... In the last episode, so we might see some of the same stuff. I'm trying to stay within the Utah area at the moment until we are able to get um, our fuel economy up a little bit. Uh, I was actually get my fuel economy pretty close to the top. To the top when I play, I was get at least four, and then I will change into adding into other skills and stuff. Because the fuel economy is what's going to hurt your truck a lot of times. And that's kind of where I like to use the fuel economy thing. In a game like this. And that's how I, that's how I do it. Like I said, I'm repeating myself way too much times for that. But uh, the other thing is, is like you guys know that, um, that I like to like sneakers. Um, or... In that sense, I used to have a lot of sneaker content here on this channel. I'm not going to, if I'm doing high valued target, high valued cargo, I'm genuinely not going to run. Uh, the uh, game in uh, in high speeds. I will probably do it 10 miles an hour under the speed limit than it typically requires for me to do it. Um, I'm not I'm not on cruise control by the way. I am on uh, just pressing the gas pedal or pushing brake. I'm not really focused on cruise control. Um, if you guys want to use cruise control, it is a C on the keyboard. I don't know what it is on the controller. Um, your wipers are left D-pad, by the way. Uh, looking at the vehicle from a different angle. This isn't real life driving, but you can see um, a whole host of things going around. You can hear that engine going pretty well. Here's another side view. Um, as you can see, you can change pretty much a lot of stuff in the game. We're going to go... We're going to reduce our speed here. We are going downhill here. I always like to reduce my speed to about 
uh, I like to reduce my speed when I go down uh, on ramps and off ramp on ramps. But some claims, some places they will do 50, and I was not paying attention. Sometimes these cars will wait for me. Not always, you know. Uh, every episode we will either, depending on how the distance we go, we will do maybe one, maybe two at the most. You know, um, when I play this game, it's going to be me focused heavily on on this game as me just talking to you guys. You know, you know, like I said, you know, when I was talking about that, I love sneakers. The, I got sidetracked a little bit here. I'm talking about the game when I sh was going to talk about the sneakers stuff. Um, the sneakers. If you guys are kind of still here and enjoying the uh the stuff and you're enjoying traveling and moving around and stuff like this um in a, in American trucks simulator you know you can transport clothes and stuff you can do a lot of things in the game but for me um I wish that there was something in here that they could do where we could have like a Nike or a sneakers we might find something might see if I can create jobs um, having like Nike factory or having like a out warehouse, um, like to have like it from Walmart to another Walmart store needing goods, Nike clo clothes, um, needing shoes, you know, being able to, I used to be able to, I have one when your truck, when it came out, um, I made a thing on where it would deliver like fact stuff and there's a lot of different mods. Now, you can get mods through the Euro Truck Simulator uh, thing. Through the uh, workshop. Uh, but I would highly recommend you guys go and not look through the workshop. Go look at other places. There's other places that you can get, game, get stuff. Um, if you happen to have the... Just because I want cars to be able to pass by um, as much as I can because I'm not going very fast. Um, I wonder what city this is because I think we've seen this city before. Uh, we haven't gone, we haven't been in Cedar City. We've just gone by it on the interstate. Interesting. Maybe we'll try to come down here and take something from Cedar City. Because right now we're going to St. George and we're almost there guys. Um, so that's going to be almost it for today's video. Um, you know, I cut, you know, going through, just checking to see where we're going. Um, how far we are. We've traveled from Moab to St. George now. You know, we've kind of gone a full circle. We've kind of gone back to cities and places that we've already been. Um, we'll try, we'll try to go to some place new tomorrow. Uh, or next episode, I guess, because, um... Friday's going to be that Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Um, you know, today is going to be the American Truck Simulator Episode 2. Tomorrow will be the Euro Truck Simulator 1. Um, even though I said that uh, yesterday was going to be a special video, tomorrow's going to be a special video in that one. Um, this, it's not. Uh, the special video isn't really necessarily a special video anymore. It is going to be the Mass Effect Legendary Edition, so... Uh, just be on the be on the lookout for that. 
you know, look out for that. That is going to be, remember, today is the 21st of July of 2021. You know, that's basically just to kind of get you guys into the things. We are, we hired a uh, business, an extra truck driver to have people go. We are paying loans on it. Uh, we are going to be doing a lot of paying loans. If we can... If we can kind of do a lot of things in this game, but that's what today's episode's all about, is buying that new driver, or having a another partner to help out the business. Um, so when I was talking about the sneaker stuff, uh, basically, you know how I said that I like video games and I like sneakers? Well, sneakers, I actually prefer liking sneakers more than video games. Um, as you guys can kind of see in the background, you guys can see those boxes in the back behind me. I just wanted to let you guys know that that is something I really do enjoy. Sneakers are the number one thing in here. I want to see if if that is the St. George Temple there. Because if they have, they modeled it correctly. You know, we will drive, we'll drive by it. Um, here when we get done. And I'll take a screenshot for, uh, for the game. For these, the thing. So we'll come back to that. We'll take, we'll take a screenshot. We'll park over on the side of the road. And we'll take a picture for today's episode. Uh. Or we'll just, or yeah, we'll do that, and then, you know, just taking the scenic route today. Getting our new driver. I will probably take a picture of that going on. How did I get a little bit of trailer damage? But, you know, it's 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 an eclectic game, you know, for me. You know, the sneakers thing, you know, I like I like sneakers. You know, there's it's going to get a little bit harder. Um, I've been reports that Nike has kind of gotten reduced factories in Vietnam. They've kind of closed down a couple of them due to the COVID-19. Hey, remember, go, if you need, if you need information, check the... Uh, your local authorities on it. I forgot that we gotta go forward. And no, we're not gonna get in trouble for it. I thought we had to stop. But no, we don't. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that I am going to... Uh, if you guys want to see my sneaker stuff. And the stuff that I currently own and I currently have added. I will... I'm gonna... I know it's a yellow sign there, but yellow light, I can turn because nobody... They're gonna have to wait for me now.
Okay. Uh, so, if you guys want to see the first episode to this, um, you guys can check that here at the end of the video. Um, that is going to end it there. We're going to do the... Where... Um, you guys can check out the videos here in a few moments. Um, I will tell you that we are now current company job offers. Um, if we do decide to take any more from here, we can go to LA, Hellebrook, and Vernon, Utah. Uh, we might take that job. We will see. Uh, basically, what I wanted to do... Is I want to go and Um, F1, okay, there's got to be a way that you can take screenshots. Shot captured. Now, uh, I think... See, just messing with the photo mode. All right, guys. Um, that's gonna be it for today. You guys kind of saw today's uh screenshot. Took a couple of those. We got some good, good things. Um, there is one thing I will look up. Um, when I get done here, uh, if you guys would like to see more content, make sure you guys are beautifully subscribed. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Um, and also if you guys dislike this video, hit that dislike button. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more. Uh, I will be playing this for a long while. We will be doing Mondays. We'll be, uh, we will start. Mondays will be the beautiful, lovely Your Truck Simulator. American Truck Simulator, sorry. And we'll pick a topic or something to talk about while we're driving. Driving, uh, going from place to place. Playing, getting better, getting more stuff and things, doing more things in that nature. Uh, so, you know, the other thing is, is if you guys... Uh, are wanting to get into playing some multiplayer stuff. We can get into that. You guys can kind of get in on this video while we are waiting for... While you guys are waiting for this video to come up. We can get more people in here um, at a time. But I will be hosting at, at some point so we can get things going. Um, so remember, you guys can check out everything down there in the links. Where you guys can get to Discord. Every place where I post stuff. I uh, Remember, like I said... Uh, if you guys want to want to ask questions or anything like that, um, please do it in Discord. Um, if I don't, I will generally try to pick a topic for next week's video. 
So, um, make sure you guys are subscribed so that you guys don't miss on that beautiful updates for me. And hit that like button if you guys did enjoy. If you guys want to see more, let me know down in the comments. And uh, if not, if not, I'm still going to do this no matter what. Uh, I'm going to do this on Monday and Tuesday. I think I'll do just American Truck on Monday and Tuesday. Um, I will probably not do your truck very much because I'm not really liking that game. We might have to do the find the realistic mod or whatever. But um, I will try to see what I can find on mods for this game. See if we can find anything with Nike, Adidas. Kind of find find a lot of these other things. Maybe find real names of places. Try to make this game feel more realistic than what it is already. Um, maybe next episode we'll have something different. So remember, Monday is American Truck. Tuesdays was supposed to be your truck yesterday, um, the night, the 20th. Um, today's going to be American Truck Simulator. Tomorrow will be the Your Truck Simulator. Uh, we will maybe trade off weeks doing American Truck and Your Truck. Maybe. We'll see. But like I said, uh, hit that beautiful like, please subscribe, hit that uh, like button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.